the kingdom of God. Once, when little children were brought to Jesus, that he might touch them, the disciples found fault with those who brought them. When Jesus saw it, he was displeased and said to his disciples, Allow the little children to come to me, and do not forbid them. For of such as these is the kingdom of God. I tell you, whoever will not accept the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, laid his hands on them, and lovingly blessed them. One Sabbath day, Jesus went to dine at the house of a leading Pharisee. One of the guests said to him, Fortunate is he who will have a share in the kingdom of God. But Jesus said to him, A man once gave a great dinner and invited many guests. At dinner time, he sent out his servant to say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is ready. But all of them began to make excuses. The first said, I have brought a field and must go and look at it. I must ask you to excuse me. Another said, I have brought five yoke of oxen and I'm on my way to try them. I must ask you to excuse me. And another said, I have just married, and so I cannot come. The servant returned and reported these answers to his master. Then the master of the house was angry and said to his servant, Go out at once into the streets and alleys of the city and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. When the servant reported, Sir, your order has been carried out, yet there is still room. The master said to him, Go out into the highways and the country lanes and compel people to come, so that my house may be filled. For I tell you that not one of those who were first invited shall taste of my dinner. Once, when Jesus was walking along the road, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked, Good master, what must I do that I may be sure of eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except one only, God. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder, do not steal, do not bear false witness, do not be dishonest, honour your father and mother. He said to him, Master, I have kept all these commands from my youth. Looking upon him, Jesus loved him and said, One thing you lack, go. Sell all that you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come with me. But when the man heard this, he looked sad, and he went away in sorrow, for he had great wealth. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. They were surprised at his words, but again he said, Children, how hard it is for those who trust in wealth to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And they were so astonished that they said, Then who can be saved? 
Jesus looked at them and said, With men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God everything is possible.